quick, quick, quick. Hey guys. What's up, Odie? You little plump monk. Welcome back to the homestead, everybody. Doing our morning chores here. I want to show you guys the piglet. Hey guys. Staying warm. Staying warm. <laughs> hey. Little pump sausages. Ouch. Pig piglets are nice and healthy. So today is our family work day and uh, we have a couple things planned out. Everything's a little bit harder in the snow. So we'll be shoveling some snow out of the way to, to get to the jobs we need to do around the homestead here. But for now, I'm doing our morning chores, which is feeding the pigs, checking on the piglets, making sure their water is not frozen, which I did not do, but it looks okay. Let's see. Yeah, they got a spot where they drink out of right there in the center. So that's good. So typically I'll do the pigs first, check on the piglets, check on their water, and then I'll go over and check on the chickens. What's up guys? Alright, alright, alright. Give me a walking path here. Getting low on food here. I've actually been taking our food and I don't put it in a uh, bucket form or anything that they can eat out of, like a trough. I wasn't using a trough on the side of the greenhouse. I stopped doing that because I just throw it out and I let them scratch. So they end up scratching and pecking and, you know, doing all that to um, scratch up the uh, mulch. Anyway, and this is what you get. I've done it a bunch over here. And they end up scratching so much, you're left with all of this great, you know, organic kind of material on top. It's real small, fine. And that'll be great for the greenhouse when we go to plant in the spring. So I'm gonna go inside here, drink the rest of my coffee. What's up? What's up, Gunner? What's up, Gunner? I said in a previous video that our new dog's name was Casey. We actually renamed him to Gunner. We have another dog named Cassie, and Casey and Cassie just are way too close <laughs> in pronunciation. They couldn't decipher between which dog I was calling, so his name is Gunner now. Anyway, I'm going to go inside. The wife and I are going to plan out the day, what it looks like. I'm going to finish the rest of my coffee, and then we'll check back in and start this day. Don't turn into a chicken dinner. Today we're going to be working in the greenhouse uh, for a number of reasons, but it's nasty outside so we're not going to work in the snow. We're going to stay in the dry and actually I'm going to get this stove back up and running and we're going to start that and get it nice and warm in here and we're going to be do so doing something exciting. We are going to be transferring the pigs over to the greenhouse as well. One thing we're trying to do in here and I mentioned this in a previous video, I'll link in the description below when, I, when we initially moved the chickens into the greenhouse is we are trying to improve the quality of the soil. And one thing we did by pulling the skid steer in and out from this square over there right here. One thing we ended up doing was compacting the soil down and if anybody knows anything about compacted soil it's not good it's not healthy so as we increase the organic material in here with the wood chips and the chickens laying the poop in and scratching and all that stuff we want to get the pigs in here for a little bit i don't know how long they'll stay in here we're kind of going to test out a scenario but we're going to get the pigs in here and we're going to get them tilling the soil up and doing what they're great at pigs are great at rooting and tilling the soil up so we're going to let them get in here and do that thank you I don't need any more. 
the first thing we need to do we're going to clean up all this junk we're going to cover this um sink we're going to scoop out look at all this poop we're going to scoop out all that poop and we're going to transfer it over as nice manure and just spread it around over here and the other thing we're going to do is i'm going to start hooking up this pipe so i'm going to actually do the wood stove the same way i did it last year let's hook this thing up We're scooping the poop, putting it in the bucket. There's a full one over there, the red one. Oh, there's a full bucket of manure over here. Wow. Some good fertilizer. So, and then we're going to spread some on the raised bed. And then we're just going to kind of lather it around here, around the greenhouse. So we got that angle on there. Goes up and out. And then we're going to go on the other side and we're going to put the thing going up. This stack right here, that'll go on the outside. Alright, she's installed, so... I'm going here, I gotta uh, screw that plate down a little bit further in the, on the back side here. But other than that, she's good to go, so we'll light up the stove and get the greenhouse warm here. Is it you wanna light the fire? Lock it, set the station. It's probably like, I don't know, it's supposed to be 42, high 42 today, but it feels like 45. In it's here? Cold. It feels like it's 35 in here. 35? Okay. 32 in here? Well, we got a thermometer, so here, let me see it. What does it oh, say wow. now? No, it says it's. Give it a second to adjust in here. Yeah, that was the nook. It's 39. Oh, wow. Feels good, huh? Wow, that's wild. Chicken don't turn into a chicken dinner. Oh, babe, we can we make us some chicken nuggets tonight. Whoa! So guys, this is the spot you're going to want to be. Alright, well there it is. Got the wood stove all back installed. And uh, she's burning. So we ran this at the end of last year. If you haven't seen that video where I install it and put it all together, figure it all out, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can you can go and check that out but um, so I know it won't burn the top of this plastic I've tested everything so we're good there that's why I put that metal around the opening so that it kind of dissipates the heat also I back it way off of the plastic so that I'm ensure that I'm not gonna burn anything so let's uh let's go back in the greenhouse here and we got some work that we want to do take care of inside of here like I mentioned like whoa it's all oh, definitely hot right here so like I mentioned before, we are going to transfer the pigs over here. And uh, so that's going to require a little bit of work. We got to run to the store, get some T-posts, get some cattle panels. And we're going to probably partition it. What do you think, babe? I think give them more space than not. I would partition it somewhere around here. I wanted to show everybody how hot it is. It's getting hot. Go! Steaming. It's evaporating. It's evaporating. And I've whatever was hot. I'm going to get it's a huge snowball. So one big problem we've had with the chickens in the greenhouse, why are they right behind there? Look at them. That's got to be like 100 degrees behind there. Look at this. It's going to be uh, some fried chicken back behind there. Look at that. I mean, you can. Did you see that? Snowflake's trying to cook herself. 
Look. Look how close she is. <laughs> I mean, that's. What is she doing? She likes the heat. She's burning herself. No, that's a black feather. I thought her feather turned. She's trying to kill herself. Look at her. Mr. Gray Pants is melted! Oh my gosh, it's tail feathers! He melted himself! He melted his tail feathers! Look at his tail feathers! Yes! Oh, you smell that? He caught his tail on fire! Mr. Gray Pants caught his tail feathers on fire. Look at that. Is he okay? I guess so. I mean, I know chickens are dumb, but I didn't think they were that dumb. What is, what is uh, Snowflake doing? Oh. Oh, it smells terrible. Oh! It smells like burnt hair. Burnt Crack the sidewalls. I knew chickens were dumb, but I didn't think they were that dumb. <laughs> Mr. Gray Pants caught his butt on fire. <laughs> Snowflake was trying to kill herself. Okay, well, that might be an issue. I have an idea, babe. Maybe we should have two different sections. We have one right here in front of the raised bed. And then they have their own area. Pigs have their own area back here, and this is our area in the front. Oh, that's a good idea. From the bottom, too. Yeah. Repurposed the uh, the roosting bars into a little house for them. Right. Now they got their nesting boxes and uh, everything they need right here. Oh, I think that's gonna be enough, okay? That's good, probably, Story. Hey, get out of the way, Story. All right, good job, girls. Looks good. All right, so we got the vent in up here. So now we have both everything enclosed. There's no open spaces. That was an open space before. So we got the vent in. We got our new repurposed roost bar chicken coop area over here so what we're gonna do is lay some cattle panels i don't know somewhere right about there to segment off the chickens from the pigs and the pigs will be in this area right here and then we'll block them we'll block the pigs from going over where the wood stove area is so <clears throat> update on the heat it is let's see it's pretty warm outside so not a great day to really test this but still the same let's let's do it it's about 63 in here right now and it's 35 35 degrees outside and 60 i'll call that 62 63 degrees in here which that's really really good i mean we're halfway across the greenhouse from the wood stove so that's you know one thing we just finished the hole so that's another thing i bet you we could pump it up to 70 degrees in here today um, keeping this wood stove going i did i closed the uh, vents down here i left the very bottom one open and then i closed um uh, i closed the flue up here just a bit so it's cocked i don't know something like that it's not fully closing the pipe but it's closing it off just a bit and uh, I loaded it up again, but I mean it is just blazing in here. So I'd say it's working really really well. Uh, we have condensation all over the top of the plastic um, So awesome. We're gonna run to the store. We're gonna get these t-posts these cattle panels and uh, we'll be back here in a bit right So we got our our alfalfa hay we got I think 12 bales here. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in the greenhouse for now, and uh, we'll go ahead and start putting our cattle panels up.
Alright, <clears throat> we got our two cattle panels. We're gonna cut open some T-posts here. And get oh, the banging. That's not cutting. <laughs> All right, well, they're already jumping this thing, so this ain't gonna work too well. But at least it'll keep the pigs out from their side, and hopefully they won't wanna come where the pigs are. Maybe they will, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna have to put some poultry netting at the bottom. I'd prefer to use plastic. We have some plastic, green plastic poultry netting over there, so we might use that. Hopefully they stay over there. And they're starting to jump it already, too. So we're gonna clip their wings. Um, and see if that keeps them on the other side. Eventually, they'll just give up and stay over there. Beautiful chicken manure. Look at that. I mean, that's a ton of chicken manure. And we can spread it around with a little rake or something. Fire's still going. Nice and strong. Okay, they're all crap. We've been working our butts off out here. We went and got all of our alfalfa. Alfalfa. alfalfa hay so hopefully the pigs like that we're not going to transfer the pigs over tonight we've had a long day we're probably going to stop right about here yeah, we got to get dinner going uh i'd say it was a successful day what do you think babe michaela very successful day yeah for a snowy day a cold snowy day yeah we got a lot accomplished anyway guys we're going to handle these chickens and seam this fence up and uh Thank you so much for watching. We will see y'all in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel and you're watching this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stay connected with our journey.